The 2024 US presidential race is marked by chaos and stress. With fears of political violence escalating as election day approaches on 5th November. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar has arrived in Brisbane for his donation visit, focusing on strengthening India Australia ties and inaugurating a new consulate. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese announced that Australia's inflation crisis has peaked, with the Consumer Price Index showing its lowest increase in three years. EU Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell is in Seoul to advance security and defence cooperation, addressing concerns over North Korea's troop deployment to Russia. In Khost, Afghanistan, Security personnel seized a large cache of weapons and ammunition, including Kalashnikovs and rocket launchers, during operations across the province. South Korea, the US, and Japan held combined air drills south of the Korean Peninsula, following North Korea's recent ICBM launch, demonstrating enhanced trilateral military cooperation. Kyiv's Defense Intelligence Agency reports that Russia has deployed over 7,000 North Korean soldiers armed with advanced weaponry near the Ukraine border, raising security concerns. The 16th meeting of COP16 concluded, acknowledging indigenous and Afro-descendant communities' vital role in biodiversity protection and approving a work plan for their permanent inclusion. Since the war began in Sudan, 13 journalists have been killed, with many others facing violence and threats, highlighting the urgent need for protection and accountability. Over the past week, the Nigerian military reports killing more than 187 terrorists and arresting 262 in various operations, marking a significant success in their anti-terror efforts. As election night approaches, results may remain unclear unless Trump or Harris secure significant victories, especially in crucial swing states with narrow margins. Donald Trump ramped up his campaign with three rallies, urging voter turnout on 5th November. He criticized Kamala Harris and promised to address job growth and immigration issues.